Kid, I got a whole bedroom and front room sitting empty in Chicago. Where they pull up my tools and shit. Believe me, I'm through with Francis. I got several houses to go to that. You know what I mean, but the side women I had through the years that's begging for me to come home. I just don't want to go home because I like it up here in West. I love this girl. This girl right here took a chance with me. Because the first thing I came, I said, let's see, you know, I got women and I got a wife at home. I ain't never leave my wife and kids. All I want to do is have a good fucking time. Work a lot and you enjoy yourself. She said, I don't know who do this, but I'm going to try it one time. And that's been a wrap. She got any sisters? <laughs> Actually, she got an older sister who is so religious, G, I wouldn't even put you through the hell for the suffering. Because I mean, you're going to suffer for this pussy out this problem. No, I ain't. Shit. You know, there's she, always. She about, this, this woman is about 50, whole, about 56 years old, right? Now, let me tell you something. She beat any 21 year old on the street. She has, she couldn't, she can't have kids. She got a big ass crib, good ass job, nice titties, nice face, nice ass, nice feet, fine. Drive a Lexus car and truck by herself. I'm talking about she fine. See, my, my, my sister, my girl was adopted by that girl's mama when she was nine years old for her to have a place. Uh, really, she adopted for her daughter to have a kid. Cause even though that's her sister, I think it's her mama. Cause she looked to her like her mama. Why, hello? And how she you doing? About her like a daughter too much. How can I help? But I figured she couldn't have okay, kids. Okay, but only so for I a minute. The mama just she took care of foster kids. So when my girl came through there, they kept her because my girl got a problem. She like to wake up like today is Saturday. About that. Today I must throw up the cities and the ponds and the sinks and the toilets and wash the clothes. You want to get off a couple times before I start? Uh. I know you, uh, this is the best ever. Francis is cool. We get along good. We've been together for years. But she lazy when it comes down to cleaning. She don't stink or nothing like that. She's clean. But everybody else, she figured they should do on their own, which ain't gonna happen with the kids. That's why she having hell with us. So when I was gone, I asked her, I told her mom, I said, Mr. I know I'm wrong. Cause she said, no, the fuck you not? As, baby, as much as I hate you go, I'm glad you go. I said, man, what did you say now? Because I raised Bam and Porsche her first two years. We hear you come in with these three years. You've been there all these years, and she just ain't done nothing. She depends on every move everybody else making. I'm tired of this. So it's good you're doing what you're doing. Okay. Did I just get the okay from the house? She wanted a PlayStation man because she started hitting at me like, because I was going to buy a PlayStation a while ago. Now I'm back on the shit again. You don't know. I'm back here, honestly, she wanted to hit my girl, get an attitude and shit. I thought you were, because she keep trying to say I ain't dealing with this drama. I ain't told her that. I ain't told her nothing like that. She just, Josiah went home and told her that shit. I told Josiah, you should have did that shit. My mama was gonna be, I said, that's the whole reason why I brought you up here. I was coming, so you won't have to lie to your mama no more. You can put all that shit on me and clear your name. Dude, seriously? He went back, oh no, they ain't let my ass help him. You know, I'm like, oh, why did you do that? Her hopes back up, I don't know why. Cause the hope is, I ain't going back. I don't give a fuck, I break up this girl, I ain't going back to my friends out. Now, we'll go there, stay, fix the house up. Repair the house, spend time with her, kick it with her, take her out, do what we know we do. But that is it. I don't want no more professional one-on-one -on -one relationship no more. That part of my life is over because as soon as you get this, she gets on her ass and don't want to do shit. I've been gone, she got a brand new 2017 car, nice as hell, working a job to make me mad. Uh, I let her think she make me mad because 
may some think she's really good, but the same thing, I'm proud because I've been I bought her seven cars, taught her how to drive, and she's 49 and I'm only 42, I'm gonna be 23 in a month. She's she's married to her husband. She's been married to her husband for 30 some years. Did you know that? What the fuck? Francis is married to her oldest son's father. Hmm. He come and spend holidays and shit there. He be in that, he, listen, when I was living there, he stayed in the house there too. How'd that shit work out? Because this what happened years ago. She met him in job court. They got together. She got pregnant. They got married and moved back to Miss Stewart House, Chicago. They lived happy ever after for about four or five years. Then he got a good ass job back where I'm at now in Milwaukee in Wisconsin where he from. So they moved up there. And his best friend from childhood started coming around. His name was Frank. And him and Frank started fucking. So what you think this outcome is? Very bad. Very bad. So she went to the club to call him dancing in the gay clubs. Went to his family, told his family, they cussed out, you a fucking like he ain't no gay. Then he did, after she left, he came out the closet. Now he's full friends gay, now he go with guys. So they good friends that, but she told him when she left. She's like, bitch, you gonna catch AIDS. Showed up about 12 years after they separated, he called full blown AIDS. So he lived with AIDS right here in Milwaukee and Barry Life. But you know, that's not a death sentence no more. LSPD. Then, the guy Frank, okay. who he was fucking with his best friend, you know, he helped France to move back and shit, thinking that's the best friend. Uh, his uncle came to my great friend's like, you know, I like you, I want to give him like, you know, I know what your nephew's best friend. My nephew's best friend, that mean, you don't know that. They fags, they've been fags for years. I had called him my nephew. My nephew liked to suck his dick when he was kids all the time. We had to whoop his ass and threaten him. That's you know he uh Robert really wasn't gay in the beginning, but he kept sucking his dick and sucking his dick till he ended up fucking. We couldn't stop it. It was just that so we, we hopefully it stopped him to separate. He went to job for got married and went on. We was hoping to was with. Meanwhile, his nephew was just gay, 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 and then got robbed and go back gay. So he was like, I will tell you, if I prove they gay. And we get together. He took us to the club and she said he was gay. And then she ended up fucking with him. He ended up being crazy. He got she got pregnant with abortion. And then he beat her. And then one day he just got mad and slapped her. She left his ass and he ain't never seen his child. His child is 30 years old. He ain't never seen her. But like twice. But he be trying to see his door. You know how she get when she get mad. Damn. That's why I really never really wanted to break up with Francis. I knew what I broke up with, it wasn't no coming back to the house no more. Now it is, cause she know now I she know now that I ain't gave up for completing this time. Ain't no joke this time. I ain't going back. It started off as a regular argument and I've been gone for a while, but this time she I, I was ever told. That was the first time she ever heard me come out and say, yeah, I do that other one. I wasn't lying to you no more. I'm still lying. You don't put this five issue. I told you I'm going to leave a girl alone. You still got an attitude, and I know you mad, but she, you were sitting on your ass doing nothing. You didn't know nothing about this girl. You was happy. You get anything you wanted, sitting on your lazy ass, don't want to work a job. I always say, well, when you going to get a job? I worked for two years straight. She didn't live for a figure to get a job. I said, we get a job. Well, you working now, so I got work. So that's when everything started changing. I'm like, I don't know, see, I ain't, I ain't even gonna take care of no more. The rest of the, you, and then not only am I taking care of you, I gotta take care of your daughter. Cause you ain't nothing, you get a check for her, she ain't going nowhere. And she the one who don't like me. Cause I called her mama a fat lazy bitch and she went back and told her mom. Something I've been doing for years, but this particular reason she went back and told her mom. So now I really don't care for her no more.
because the other day, you know, I found myself a Christmas regardless. My kids growing up because I know she's special. She ain't enough learned. Much she talk about me hating me, she ain't enough learned to hey, tell her mama, am I getting her the game? I said I was getting up for Christmas. I told her on the phone, hell no, her mama made it at me. What the fuck? I said, okay, I wasn't even mad. But nah, you ain't got shit, and I ain't come back to fight you shit no more. You talking about, uh, what's the name that's going to college and shit? No, not Emma. Emma's my daughter. Porsche. Porsche. My daughter's 20. Porsche's 30. The fuck? Yeah, she's 30. 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 Yeah, she's when I bet a bell was eight, once it was four. So, he's 34 and Porsche is 30. Wow. Now her son always been, been on his self business, but I would say he don't like me. Cause every time she got pregnant, he would get mad. Like, man, why are you steady having to make high babies? I was like, look, you little motherfucker, you know, he was warning me then. This bitch is lazy. <laughs> oh, but I see him now, you know, he tell me, he was like, what's up, Joe? I got your kids. He was so cool with me now, because he was like, man, you stay and raise your kids, though. I, he said, I don't mind, no man, you stay and raise your kids. But I was just saying, my mom ain't the type to need no more kids, because I was raised by grandma and my father. She, she loved me, she gave me what she wanted, but she worked all the time and she was always, you know, she get, and I was like, damn, I should have listened to this child years ago. But then I want my kids, so I ain't mad. But it let me know too, just how lazy her ass is. Now she got all this money, she got all this money. I mean, she's so lazy, she don't want to breathe, G. I be mean, like, we gonna take my son. I'm gonna take my son to uh to, uh, to the school. Get a bit. Oh, I'm busy. I've been tired. I be. I said, so what you doing? Fuck you, mean you asked me that for? I'm just asking what you doing. That you're so busy. I gotta do this. I gotta do. I said, to tell me. Oh, I, you know what? I gotta get off this phone. I was like, you getting off the? Why are you getting off the phone? I just asked a simple question. I was talking about who you think you is. Ask me any type of fucking question. You up there with that bitch? I said, okay. Okay. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> you tell me, G. Tell me. That woman don't want to do shit. She making up excuses. That's not even there no more. And like I told her, I don't even care no more. I got over the fact that I'm going out, and that was what you had me. You had me sold up. I would have came home in a heartbeat. Soon as you were talking about you acting just like you, I thought you was going to get better with this. You did get better getting the car, getting a child. But you just don't want to do shit. Like, oh, mama don't even want to come back home because I ain't there no more. She's talking about she's going to stay in retirement on that. I asked her why. She was like, you know, friends. And Debbie, and you know, her, her other daughter. Was taken care of for a long time. You know, she can't smoke crack around her mama, so she back on crack. She put her mama out. <laughs> 